that Moses knew how to make miracles. He knew how to produce miracles. But the Israelites, they depended on the miracles. So, wakati ya kuna maji, wangeanza kutetesha Musa. Wanamambia oo oh, ulitutoa mbali, ukatuleta hapa, tu uwawe na kiu, nyikani, na unataka tukufe. Moses would strike or even speak to that rock, and water would come out. And so when Moses was faced by God, he said, teach me your ways. I want to know the formula of how you remain God and you remain the relevant leader. Now, God here says, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I'm sure this one thing that uh, uh, Helen, I know you would admire, is long life. Isn't it? By the way, when would you want your funeral to be conducted? When you are how old? Yeah? Old enough. Like, toothless and hairless. And um, I, I saw this man who was being interviewed yesterday on um, a Citizen TV by Jeff Konange. And I was to Kahengeri. Kwa sababu he is a freedom fighter na leo ilikuwa madraka day na akaulizwa miaka yake akasema he is 99 years old and Jeff doubted but this old man continued to insist that Jeff ni mimi ninajua my birthday na ninaelewa nilikigia kichakani nikiwa na umri gani na ni mimi niko hapa all of us would want beyond 99 years isn't it and we know God can give you that now he promises and says with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, I want us to engage into how to make long life. Other than receiving like the Israelites would receive a miracle, we make the miracles. Praise God. Instead of waiting for long life, can we ourselves make long life? How can we manufacture long life? Yani idwe to ketura atia idwe to tue uria to gutura na tukoro tu inama ne to gutura muturire muraihu no to thondeke muturire ucio yes this is the formula and what what i mean when i say you make ne ta mudu guraga madathi mukawaini na mudu we kuruga madathi gwake those are two different people mudu we kuruga madathi gwake na advantage to do mutu wake no urute madathi maria mo the kweda na ni fresh na dalari haliba maudu mali ya magi uyo kino wali ya maio kana hoteli romo tiyotari mwega na kulitu hemono iyo niyo difference ati utari nabi ya dogi gula idadhi no uigu thode kama dadhi no webe kile kwa waku this is what we mean that you can make long life how do we do that Moses told the Israelites in in the book of Deuteronomy 5.33 the Bible says this and it is the Lord saying you shall walk in all the way that the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land that you shall possess. You shall walk in all the way that the Lord your God has commanded you. One step towards adding up with a long life is to walk in all the way that the Lord your God has commanded you. You know all of us, we hear God, isn't it? I am a preacher, I don't sing. Singers, they hear God and God gives them the message to sing on, isn't it? And so there is a way that a singer hears God. There is a way that a pastor hears God. If you walk in that leading and guiding of God. Our God cannot set you up for failure or for accident or death. Praise God. The ways of the Lord will lead you to who, what he says. He is because he is so truthful and he is a promise keeper. And so, uh, Helen, our guest tonight, if you want to live long beyond Yetu Akahengeri, the 99-year-old man you shall walk in all the way that the Lord your God 
has commanded you. And then number two, he says this in Proverbs 16, verse that one. The first one is you walk in all the ways. Mungu akikwambia wacha kuhusika hapo, you just relax. Hata kama event haina dhambi, lakini Mungu amekwambia usi usiende. Si utosheke tu. Praise God. The Lord doesn't want you there. He has enough servants there. <laughs> And so maybe pale dio shetani yamekukoja na Mungu anaonanga mwisho tangu mwanzo. And so he wants to avoid you from unnecessary uh, experiences. Number 2, that is Proverbs 16 that one. It says gray hair. We know gray hair kama sio ile ya familia, gray hair ina style kuja na uzee. Isn't it? Kama si ya familia ama pesa. Lakini pia kuna zingine za dhina. Isn't it? Kwa korona wemu kuru kwa wanyu Na siya naidea siyudu dhwa kune keda Odho omithie siyo <laughs> Niyo kukura brother, isn't it? Ibuene zigo, kani zigo kutema Todo handile mosiari, isn't it? And so, <laughs> number two on how to make a, a long life It is in Proverbs 16, 31 It says, grey hair is a crown of glory It is gained in a righteous life Praise God that long life is gained by a righteous life. When you, when you fear sin and you say, my God is righteous, then you are on your way to having that gray hair. Head, gray head. I don't know if I have a mistake, but I don't know if you are so blessed, you are so old, and the Lord has decided to grant you that favor to see your long age. That is number two, that you gain it by a righteous life. Now, number three, Helen, you know, now in Abu, Nile Quetrade, Nile Kabia with Osu Helen, Nile Yona. So, gray hair in a patikana in a righteous life. Now, number three is a matter to do with your tongue. The Bible says this, another formula for making long life is 1 Peter 3.10. The Bible says, for whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Praise God. Ukitaka maisha marefu, make sure ulimi wa uongo. <laughs> you keep a distance you distance yourself or you shut yourself out from those conversations because that time will be the one living long to tell the others about the Lord and the tongue cannot speak about the Lord at the same time in atetea and so for you Helen and for all of us Nataka kuwauliza because I'm a pastor teacher. Nimefunza mambo mangapi? La kwanza. What is the theme of today? Long life. Na Helen ni share yake. Long life lakini sisi si ametualika. So we are partaking from that. So how do you make long life? Number 1. You walk in the ways that the Lord commands you. Number 2. Righteous life. Number three, mind your tongue. Then number four, ambayo itafanya uongeze maisha. By the way, there is a way that unaweza jiongezea maisha. Kuna mahali mungu ameweka mpaka huwezi kupita, lakini ukitembea na yeye, unaweza ongeza maisha. <laughs> Praise God. Ni kama... I'm saying this. Ni kama niseme mimi nitapatia mtu elfu moja. 
na niseme na hapo sipitishi alafu for a reason utembe na mimi uanze kushare na mimi mpaka nione reason why na stahili kuvuka 1000 si nitakupatia nitakuwa nimevuja sheria yangu and so the lord has a way you know we know that god is um uh immutable he, he has an attribute of he does not change but that do, does not mean that god doesn't change mind so when you walk with god hata kama ulikuwa ukufe na miaka mingapi mungu unaweza negotiate na yeye na ukae kae isn't it na pia unaweza kuna vile god anaweza kukupenda mpaka ukitaka kukufa na kataa unajua hiyo Yeah you remember Simeon yule alikuwa anamwambia Mungu si uniue anaambiwa hapana mpaka Mesia azaliwe umshike kwa mikono alafu utakuja home Now how do you prolong life Helen ukae hapa mpaka uchoke It says this in Proverbs 10:27 The fear of the Lord prolongs life but the years of the wicked will be short The fear of the Lord prolongs life when you want to live the longest fear the lord you increase each day you fear the lord you add to your stay you add to your number you live longer and longer and longest when you fear the lord that is which number That's number 4. Si niseme ya mwisho. Number 5. And then uh, we allow the next item to continue. This one is amazing. And I, I don't want to start it. Ni tumie hii tena. Okay, the digit. Asante sana. So in this one I am saying connect with the lord if you want to prolong and increase your days let god be in you and you in the lord through that life utaipata mpaka wewe mwenyewe utashangaa proverbs 9:11 inasema hivi for by me your days we will be multiplied and years we will be added to your life for by me your days we will be multiplied and years we will be added to your life see years in amekiwa na days so when you hear the lord in the scripture repeating this is a writing about in akuanga kwa wisdom literature Of course Proverbs is among us the wisdom books. And when a singer would want to emphasize something, you either prolong it, you pull it or you repeat it. So, repetition is one skill of emphasis. And so Jesus would say, truly, truly I say to you. That does not mean that the first truly is not for sure truth <laughs> what he is doing is to make sure ame kindera ame make sure kila mtu amesikia and so out of the four we have said now the last one the fifth one is that for by me your days will be multiplied it is not adding the sign is multiplication and we know multiplication ina ina inainuanga vitu mara kadhaa and years will be added unto you praise god years will be added unto you the lord will multiply your years na atakuongezea masiku mengi ambayo wewe utaweza kuishi and so helen tonight nimesema utaishi maisha Maref. And now you have learned how to make long life. 
takunyitira ngai teni gutire kindu ona ngithukuma so kiiri ukarekero how about that kind of life nobody would want to live such a life tunataka a long life but a supplied provided for life isn't it life ambayo hata we mwenyewe unure hakato maguta na titwa remis at least ni ona to abue ukona to 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 foundation ukona to slippers ile ile ikara to maudu twega isn't it and so the bible says in proverbs 22 verse 4 narudi go thoma verse yege oni yo mutira de ka hadu but we thank god we have the recording going on the, we are ah yes mchugaji pale anaandika the last one ambayo itafungia upate sasa long life na iwe multiplied na Mungu wa supply kwa sababu ni yeye anasema si alitoaambia i will satisfy you wakati tulikuwa tunaanza the first scripture that was a promise of god now in the making how you make that life possible and fruitful and enjoyable wakati unaishi It is Proverbs 22 verse 4. It says, "Humility is the fear of the Lord. It wages if you are to be employed by humility." Ogia de kuwira ni kwenyia. I mean kwenyia gukoro ni kuwa boss yako. If you make humility your boss. The Bible says, "Humility is the fear of the Lord. It wages its salary are riches honor and life praise god that's how rich this boss is humility to nambiwa humility is the fear did you want to know the definition and description of the fear of the lord one word humility and when you get humility when you are humble and this is the nature of helen when you are humble you will get riches you get honor and life praise god who doesn't want that all of us would want that we can get riches honor and life gutiri undu murito tagitonga magicukite range rover kana ngari ingiria tu ya goro gigacoka giko ima parking tutinona age park ako kakari biora ibita idwe ando a japan na hii ni ona gete kilio guthie bere we akahetukwo toro ni twe gutie mundu tonya ga nyumba na ngari aga paki geteini ukaga ni mundu cio iguaga agithutheka era ini ni akaliyo ni moi kinyoka geria kuguithia safi ni getha tuone ruri wa safi so jo na akoro ndari ona ruri taru tondo rake ngari ria nyinge ingiragia ku ni ireku nesito neda bilia sito you feel bad when you have riches but you are divine hauna honor when you have riches but there is no honor you feel like at your right ha ho gutire mundu ragutambura it's like you are lost na ruri ge gutire undu murito tokro we na bia na we na gitio no dure na thayo dure na life praise god It is so so weird. Ate we go aku and you know I'm a preacher. I have that privilege ya kutembelea watu na Mungu awaponye. Ugakora mudu e muru wa muno. Akomete giteine. You know we we went to pray with Pastor Lea in one of the posh places around this place. Na there ro nyuba iria na bere ya guthie. Leo dadi desiri die hut nigetha higoliro kube gari yako wa April tree na bago wa Kenyoba na gate ya command we higoke so ikeke higura gitulia pastor ya no 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 wa kime higura tukigira no ni ko dagiti wa tukuru gi gicio ni getha wire soja thank you so much twakorira ati ri mundu ithi tugithi straight ugo ni kuga ati ri mundu ri ucio ri na tumatuko na ni athukumite na ni mwega no haria twa mukorire agero ane ane indo cio ciothe na atwarwo gicagi aingirage kanyumba gake tu agakoma hau ena thayo no etikire agikoro indo cio ciothe no shimugurire life and so it is so desperate when you have everything but you can't enjoy you feel like you never had it and so friends the way to make such a good life 
is the way to be humble. Praise God. Humility makes you harvest honor, riches, and life. Praise God. Amen. Helen, as we celebrate with you, and thank you for the honor of inviting us to grace your special day and occasion. If you want to live longest, just hold on humility. It shall manufacture for you riches, honor, and long life with God. Amen.